How's she going, eh? So, I got a new project. It's gonna be fun. No more lawnmowers for a little while. I wanna take my paddle boat and electrify it. I don't know how good it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give her my best. So, that's what we're gonna get into today. <laughs> All right, so here's the old bikey bike. I'm gonna, I wanna take this motor off. It's only 24 volt, but we'll see if it, she's got enough oomph. I'm not gonna probably use the batteries that came with this. I'll probably use some car batteries or something. I think the controller's in here. Power switch is here. I might have to rewire it, but I wanna take this sucker off and use this motor and put the sprocket on there. And, uh, huh? let's figure it out. So, let's start disassembling this thing first. boys I got the bike all torn apart I got the controller off and I'm just trying to test this thing out right now so I am I got this um, marine deep cell battery and then I got my old car battery when I flip my cobalt so I'm just checking out to see what's going on here if this will work and I got all the wires connected up uh, motor this guy is the handlebar sensor I don't even know if you need this to be honest with you I'm gonna try and see if we take it off what happens will it still run yeah you don't even need it so other than it ripping your legs off you don't even need the brake lever sensor so that's good I don't really want to use that anyway so junk I got the sprocket cut off here and I need to make sure I'm doing it the right way so, what is this? 35 amps. I just want to make sure I get it on the right, the right side. So, there's the idea anyway. This piece needs to be mounted on the paddle boat now on the driver's side and I'm probably going to need to get some kind of bushing to go in here so figure that out next 
So here's the paddle boat. This is what we got to work with. So I need, I'm going to cut this pedal off, I think, and then I'll have to try and weld that on there. All right, I cut it off. Now I got to put this sprocket onto here. They're slightly different sizes, so of course it's not going to be totally easy, but that needs to be mounted on there. I'm clearly going to need some kind of bush. Anyway, so we got 1.15 millimeter here, and then this shaft here is three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna have to figure out a bushing tomorrow. All right, I found something I think is gonna work. So go ahead and clean the shaft off. Preparation, preparation eight. All right. Clean this off. Try and get galvan. I'm trying to get the galvanized off this so I don't die of poison. So we're going to put this on here. It's not perfect, so I'm going to have to try and uh, I'm going to have to try and get it straight, which is going to be kind of fun, but we'll figure it out. Alright boys, here's where we're at. I use my crapo freight welder, but I, th I got her fairly straight on here, so I got the sprocket welded on this side, and then obviously the regular old feet on that side. Oops, well, I'm sitting on the paddle right now, so I can't really turn it for you, but if I put it up on something, there you go. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Pretty centered. The welding shit, but that's the best I can do. So, so next thing we'll have to make a bracket and uh, you know figure out how to mount the the motor on there. And then it's a matter of trying to create a mount. And I can mount this up that's solid enough that it's not going to cause an issue. And then figure out where we're going to put the, uh, going to put the controller and stuff. Alright, I got the idea. I pulled the bolt uh, out of the back of the bike that was used for the sprocket. It's got a bearing on the end of it that sits in there. And I'm going to have this. Obviously, there's going to be some support put in here, but... This bolt's gonna sit straight out. It's gonna sit straight out like that. And I'm gonna drill a hole in here, and then this is gonna be moved in.
this is what I got so far it seems to be working I don't know how pretty it's gonna be and uh, I certainly is not perfectly level you can see I got these two nuts pinched there and then got that welded on so we'll see it's working it's working ready check this out all right I mean obviously I need to do something better with these batteries but I will figure that out but you want to figure out if things are gonna work first so all right motor Okay, ready? Check this out. Is this actually kind of insane how fast it goes? is it's sort of a hybrid you can still sit on the right and pedal and I can have somebody sit on the left still and just keep their legs out of the chain I don't know if my fairly crappy mount is gonna be enough or what but there's another thing I gotta do I gotta uh, epoxy the floor in here because it's leaking so probably should do that before I go and test this thing out so it doesn't fill with water all right we're ready. Take a ride in the old electric power boat here. All right, put this on here this way. And let's do it. There we go. Does it work? <laughs> 